Hello and welcome to the video on systematic sampling. A quick review, um, the first sampling method we used uh, to choose our samples was a simple random set, uh, sample. The second was a stratified. The third was cluster. And now we're on systematic. which is basically very um, straightforward there's not much to it okay so let's just talk about kinda of when this is used let's say you work somewhere and you have this long conveyor belt let me make this look a little better okay you have a long conveyor belt okay there we go and you have these items okay it doesn't always have to be people okay you have these items okay and you have a thousand of them okay so this is number one number two number three number four okay this is uh, you have let's say a thousand of them so this would be nine nine eight nine 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 and one thousand okay so you um, this would be nine nine seven this is just I'll just call this 500 okay so th so this is the problem we have a thousand items and they're all lined up on here okay so if we were gonna do an SRS okay we would go ahead and give a number or just take these numbers okay um, from one to a thousand and uh, let's just say we'll use our calculator so it would be something like randint one to a thousand and let's say we want to pick ten we want our sample to be ten we want to pick ten and check them. let's pretend these are engines okay and they're all they just been built and they're all in this conveyor belt we want to sample ten of them okay Okay, and you could say something like if more than one are bad, if one are bad or more, then we'll have to analyze that and, uh, you know, analyze more. Okay, so we want to pick 10. So we learned how to do this. Okay, and, and you know, one of the problems we want to, we want to kind of get around is let's say what happens if, if, if this were, these were our numbers. Okay, I'm not going to pick them all, but I'll give you the idea. So let's say one was picked and the next one. 997 was picked. Let's say we come back and 101 was picked. Then say like 150. Then let's say 1000 was picked. Okay? And let's come back and say like 400 was picked. Okay? And you know, there's the remaining. Now, here's the problem. If if I'm me and I'm starting off here, okay? And I check this one and I, you know, I do my work on that. So he's done. I got my data on here. Now where do I have to go? I have to go all the way, all the way to this one, and then check this one next. So, so what happens is sometimes this becomes a pain. So what we, so what systematic sampling does is just pretend this is a conveyor belt. We want to randomly. This is the key randomly no, there's an M there somewhere randomly select the first okay the first item okay so what we, we do is we do rand int okay and we want to go one a thousand and one okay so now what happens here is it could be any one of these okay it could be any one of these so let's say let's say 453 got picked 453 so now what I do is I come check this one I check 400 and I get the data okay so now what I do is it's systematic so it's gonna systematically check the rest of them 
So since I have a thousand and I'm checking ten, okay, I need to spread it out evenly so I'm getting a little piece of the. I'm, I'm making sure I'm covering the whole area evenly, okay? So, so if I do a thousand divided by ten, I'm going to get a hundred, okay? So this tells me the next one. This tells me the next one to go up to systematically. So I randomly pick the first one and then I go in increments until I've covered I covered the whole area kind of equally. Okay, so I'm at 453. So the next one I'm going to do, so I'm not bouncing back and forth. I'm just going to walk forward 100 to 543 or 553, sorry, 553. And then I'm going to keep going, and the next one's going to be 653. Okay, so here's going to be my sample. 453, 553, 653, 753, 853, 953. Okay, now I'm sitting right here at 953, somewhere over here. And then what happens is I'm going to go all the way here. I'm past 1,000. And I start back here. So now I'm going to be at 53. Okay, so 953, go back, cross, start back at the hundreds. Okay, then I'm going to be at 153, 253, and lastly, 353. Okay, so now I have 10. And then if you look at my conveyor belt, If you look at my conveyor belt, oops, here I'm trying to go too fast here. Okay, here's my conveyor belt. Now, what I want to avoid doing is let's say I would, well, let's talk about what we did. We see it covered here. Okay, I'm covered here, 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 here. Here, ones. Okay, so you should get the idea. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm covered here equally. What you want to avoid doing is saying if I pick 453 and get lazy and go up every five. Every five. Okay, so, um, or let's say every ten just to make the math a little easier. So 453, 463. 473, 483, 493, um, 503, 513. So if this was my sample, now this isn't the scale, if this was say my 10, and, and this would be a problem, this is why we want to go, this is why you want to do this step. Okay, because what happens if you do every 10, if these are making machines, okay, and whatever happens, say it's a machine putting in a part, okay, so this machine could have malfunctioned right here. It could have malfunctioned. So what happens here is this little snippet here, this little snippet of 10 is not a good represent representation of the whole, of all. Okay, so you need to space it. Okay, so 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 let's let's come up with a general term how to get this number right here. How much to increase? So a thousand, a thousand was my population size. So it's I had a thousand in my population. So so this is how much you increase. Increase by. Okay, so my population size. divided by this is my sample size now you don't have to remember this formula generally you guys get a good idea but um, that's systematic sampling make sure you randomly pick the first one this this is also used a lot when people are walking through okay people walking through you randomly pick the first one and then pick every tenth every tenth person Okay, until you get however many you need. Now, this is still a little questionable. Okay, 
that's a little questionable because you know what time a day are you coming out you know who's coming out are these people here the good representation of everybody that you need these people that are walking through um, is this the you know the top 1% walking out of a meeting that you're picking that you're picking them so you, ha you kind of have to be careful using this method and just use some common sense and that's it but the main thing is you just have an idea of what it is okay um, this is not asked too often other than just give me questions about them giving you a situation and it's every so many peep person gets picked so anyways thanks for watching have a nice day